Mastodon. She wasn't real familiar with Mastodon. She just heard them recently. Yeah. And I dig them. <laughs> Been a fan of Mastodon for a long time. Uh, they're weird. They're prog. They've got multiple singers. They're... They all sing. Everybody except for... Uh, shit, I can't think of his name now. Bill. Bill. Bill, Bill the guitarist. He's the only one I think that doesn't sing, but I know Braun sings, Troy sings. Yeah, I mean, everybody sings in this band. And they all have good voices. They write about really weird stuff, so, you know, if you want to get into the whole power metal discussion, whether they write these long stories that you kind of have to know the stories, Mastodon is that kind of band. Brent, who does a bulk of their writing is always on something. Whether it's acid or <laughs> mushrooms or dude's hammered. I sat through an interview with him when he was talking with Jamie and about halfway through it I just clicked out of it. I, I couldn't sit through it anymore. I don't know how Jamie did it because he is out there. So this one is more than I could chew and I haven't heard a new Mastodon song in a while so I'm kind of excited about this. So Without further ado, let's do this. Well, Twisted Wizard of Oz setting. <laughs> yeah, it's already weird. <laughs> You're gonna fall asleep, girl. It's poppies. <laughs> the hell? Satan? Yeah, it looks like one of those little demons that roam the hell area. <laughs> the hell area. <laughs> Why is everything like a movie production? Like Mastodon. Yeah, I don't like the cinematography of Braun there. Troy just has a cool voice.
eat the apple. Mastodon wants to be like the 21st century Pink Floyd or something. These trippy ass videos. Pink Floyd and Tool merged they're not into quite, a video. Not quite as prog as Tool, but they're they're on their way. They're in there. Um, they're kind of. It's just cool how you have Braun, the drummer, singing most of it. It's very rare you see the drummer doing most of the vocals. Bass player Troy. I love his voice. I mean, there's no question. Troy's like the best singer in the band. I mean, he's the one with the beard, right? Yeah. Yeah, I like him. He's the one you compared to Wes from a loop. Yeah. Okay. I was just thinking if that was the same guy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and he did that side project that we heard, and I can't remember what the name of that band oh, was. Oh crap! What's it was name? pretty badass. Uh, Kill or Be Killed. Kill or Be Killed, yes. The Max Cavalera side project. Yeah, I'd really love to have done a reaction to that, but I only react to stuff I haven't heard. Anytime you see us on here, it is a first time. It, we're reacting to something we've never heard before. Yeah, we're not being fake with y'all. No, if I've heard it, I'm not going to waste your time. These are actual reactions. Because I can't tell you how many times I've reacted and then gone back and watched my reaction and said, oh, I should have said this and I should have said that and oh, this sounded like... If I listened to them ahead of time, I could do much better reactions as far as information that I give you guys, but it'd be fake. But then it's not a reaction? It's not a reaction. It's just a review or a retelling or reimagining as Falling in Reverse likes to do. <laughs> I would just like to sit in on like the pitches for these videos. Cause they gotta be, able, they gotta pitch it to somebody, right? Instead of just like, here's what we're gonna do. They probably just send Troy in. And he's like, look, <laughs> this is what's gonna happen. Unless you want Brent to come in here and explain it to you, here's what we're gonna do. <laughs> oh, you don't want to do it? Hey, Brent, we'll do it. We'll do it. <laughs> so I don't know. I mean, this is. Definitely some crap they come up with. I mean, at least it's not strip club. I mean, I remember the one video they had where they were in the titty bar, and that was amazing. It's just amazing. I've heard stories of Brent, uh, dozens of stories about his prowess at the strip club and how he likes the sisters, and it's crazy. He's... He's one of those guys that if I was playing in bands and touring and I got to tour with Mastodon, I would hang with Brent <laughs> just to go follow him around to see what madness he got into. It seems like Troy and Braun are like the grounded ones in the band. You know? It's like, we're going to be the dads here, okay? Yeah. Well, Keep I mean, him. <laughs> Braun's probably fun. He'll have a couple drinks and have a good time. I'm sure Troy's that way too. Kick back a couple Budweiser's. Brent. Got to stay somewhat level-headed to watch Brent. <laughs> yeah, you just got to say, keep the mushrooms away from Brent, because we got a show to play tomorrow. But, yeah, so far so good, so let's get back to it. Now, how'd she get that much apple on her face? That is not apple. <laughs> well, she got herpes or something? Thank you. 
Disclaimer says if you have epilepsy, don't watch don't this video. Watch this, man. I mean, hell, that made me nauseous watching it, and I don't have epilepsy. That was weird video treatment. I don't know if I really care for the way they did that because that was weird. I couldn't really pay attention to the music because of how weird it was. You know, not um, like I liked it. I like weird videos. Don't get me wrong. But I couldn't really pay attention. Well, I mean, it kept if you throwing were, me all over the place like a freaking. If this was your first house. experience with Mastodon, you may not come away from it liking them because of the video. Right. I mean, you couldn't really see Braun. You you Go saw watch Oblivion. Troy for a little bit, but then yeah, I mean, it it's didn't even see Bill, and only during the solo did you see Brent. So you don't really get to see the band much, even though they do focus on them a lot. It's just the camera with that washout, watery, and I don't know, I don't really like that. Like I said, if you have some sort of epilepsy or weak stomach watching that crap, especially with the apple that looked like it gave her herpes or whatever, <laughs> it's just weird. But I like the song. Again, they're like the 21st century Pink Floyd. They take you on a weird adventure in music. Yeah. And I like that. You know, they're rare. You don't hear many bands that sound like Mastodon. And when you look at them, they don't sound like they look. Not at all. I mean, they look like a biker bar band, you know. That's what you, when you see them on stage, you think, okay, we're going to be getting some Buck Cherry or something like that. They don't look like prog musicians. You know, they're not your typical looking progressive metal, but that's what they are. What the hell are you talking about? That's where you guys come in. Get in the comments. Let us know what you think of Mastodon and post some of your favorite Mastodon songs. That way, I haven't heard all the music. I mean, I've heard a lot of it. So if there's something in there I see that I haven't heard, I'll go back and I'll check it out and maybe do a reaction to some of the other catalog because, I mean, I haven't heard everything. But like, share, subscribe, do the thing. Do the thing. And as always, go at me, bro.